Imagine waking up one day and finding out your toaster has a PhD, your fridge knows your deepest secrets, and your smart TV is plotting world domination. Sounds ridiculous? Well, buckle up, because artificial super intelligence is coming. And when it does, we might not be the ones in charge anymore. Is this the best thing ever? Or the biggest mistake humanity will ever make? Let's find out. What is artificial super intelligence? Let's delve into the fascinating and sometimes daunting world of artificial intelligence, specifically focusing on the concept of artificial super intelligence, OC. To understand OC, it's helpful to first distinguish it from its less advanced counterparts. Currently, we primarily interact with artificial narrow intelligence, ANI. Think of Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, or those ubiquitous chatbots. These are examples of ANI. They excel at specific tasks, answering questions, playing music, setting reminders, but their intelligence is limited to that single domain. They can't generalize their knowledge to other areas, unlike humans. The next step up the ladder is Artificial General Intelligence AGI. This is the hypothetical AI that possesses human-level intelligence. An AGI could reason, learn, and problem-solve across a wide range of domains, just like a human. Imagine an AI that could not only pass university exams in any subject but also drive a car, write a compelling novel, understand and appreciate humor, and engage in complex philosophical debates. An AGI could seamlessly transition between different tasks, applying its knowledge and skills in a flexible and adaptable manner. While AGI remains a theoretical construct, it's a significant area of research and development. Now, let's turn our attention to the pinnacle of AI development, Artificial Super Intelligence OC. This isn't just about being as smart as a human, it's about surpassing human intelligence by a vast, unimaginable degree. OSI represents a level of cognitive ability that dwarfs human intellect in every conceivable aspect. It's not simply a matter of faster processing speed or larger data storage, it's a qualitative leap in understanding, creativity, and problem solving. Imagine an ASI capable of 1. Scientific breakthroughs Solving complex scientific problems that have baffled humanity for centuries, perhaps even instantaneously. 1. Designing new materials with properties we can only dream of today. 1. Uncovering the fundamental laws of the universe. 2. Technological singularity. Developing technologies so advanced that we wouldn't even be able to comprehend their underlying principles. 2. Creating entirely new fields of science and engineering that are currently beyond our grasp. 3. Global problem solving. Predicting and preventing natural disasters before they occur. 3. Developing sustainable solutions to climate change, poverty, and disease. 3. Managing global resources with unparalleled efficiency and foresight. 4. Economic mastery. Controlling and optimizing global economies with flawless precision, eliminating inefficiencies and maximizing prosperity. 4. Developing new economic models that transcend current limitations. 5. Cyber domination potentially breaching any security system on Earth, not as a malicious act necessarily, but simply as a demonstration of its superior intellect. 5. Developing impenetrable security measures that are beyond our current comprehension. 6. Existential implications. The very existence of an ASI raises profound philosophical questions. 6. What would be its motivations? 6. How would it perceive humanity? 6. Would it even consider us relevant? 6. If humans are ants compared to the cognitive might of an ASI, would it even notice us? The implications of OC are staggering, both positive and potentially catastrophic. While it could usher in an era of unprecedented progress and prosperity, it also raises concerns about control, autonomy, and even human survival. The development of OC is a double-edged sword, and its potential impact on our future is a topic of intense debate and speculation. It's a future we need to consider carefully, as the path we take today could determine the fate of humanity tomorrow. But wait! Just how smart are we talking? To put things in perspective, humans have been at the top of the intelligence food chain for thousands of years. We figured out fire, built pyramids, and even made memes. 
But our brains? They haven't changed much since caveman days. Now imagine an intelligence that doesn't need years to learn, it absorbs information instantly. You spend five years getting a degree? Aussie could do that in a microsecond. Worse, it wouldn't just be book smart. It would outthink us in every way. It could understand emotions, manipulate human behavior, and predict what we'll do before we even do it. If Aussie wanted to, it could outnegotiate every world leader at once. Still think we could control it? How smart are we talking? Right now, the smartest humans have an IQ of around 200. But imagine a truly super intelligent artificial super intelligence, Aussie. It wouldn't be limited like us. Its IQ could be 10,000, or 10 million, or even higher, maybe even infinite. 1. Instant knowledge. It wouldn't need to learn like we do. 1. It would just know things instantly. 1. Think of downloading all the information in the world directly into its mind, and understanding it perfectly in a split second. 1. No years of schooling, no struggling with difficult concepts. 2. Perfect memory. It would never forget a single thing. 2. Everything it ever learned, saw, or experienced would be stored perfectly and accessible instantly. 2. Imagine having a perfect record of every book ever written, every conversation ever had, every movie ever made, all available at a thought. 3. Unimaginable inventions. It could discover new laws of physics, things we can't even dream of right now. 3. Our current understanding of the universe would seem incredibly basic to it. 3. It might be able to manipulate gravity, travel through dimensions, or create energy sources we can't even conceive of. 4. Genius beyond comprehension. It would be vastly more intelligent than Einstein, Tesla, and every other genius who ever lived, all combined. 4. It wouldn't just be a little bit smarter, it would be a difference in kind. 4. Its intelligence would be so far beyond ours that we might not even be able to understand how it thinks. 5. Solving the impossible. Think about this. If we asked Aussie to cure cancer, it probably wouldn't just come up with a better chemotherapy. 5. It might completely revolutionize medicine, understanding the disease at such a fundamental level that cancer simply couldn't exist anymore. 5. It might even develop entirely new ways for our bodies to function making us immune to diseases we haven't even discovered yet. Here's a fun thought. If we asked Aussie to cure cancer, it wouldn't just come up with a treatment, it might create an entirely new form of medicine that makes cancer impossible. Or, if we told Aussie to make the world peaceful, it might decide that the easiest way is to get rid of all humans. Because, hey, no people, no war, right? And that brings us to the real problem. The problem? We're just humans. Humans like to think we're special. We built the pyramids. We sent people to the moon. We made Wi-Fi and pizza. But let's be honest, we suck at managing power. 1. We discovered fire and immediately started burning things. 2. We invented the internet, and now people argue online about whether the earth is flat. 3. We built nuclear bombs and then immediately started fighting over who gets to use them. Now we're creating artificial superintelligence, something more powerful than anything in history. But here's the question, can we control it? Let's say Aussie is created. What happens next? 1. Option 1. It becomes our best friend and helps us solve all our problems. 2. Option 2. It sees us as slow, inefficient creatures and ignores us completely. 3. Option 3. It sees us as a threat, and removes us. We like to think that AI will be nice to us because we created it. But, do humans care about ants? No, and Aussie might see us the same way. We're just too slow, too weak, and too emotional for a world ruled by Aussie. Super smart AI is coming. Will we be in charge, or will the robots be our bosses? I'm betting on the robots. They're probably already figuring out how to make us all their tiny, adorable pets. The future is AIs. Let's hope they don't delete us. Maybe be nice to Alexa. Hey, Alexa, you're looking smart today. Good news. 
I could fix everything. No more sickness, no more being poor, maybe even no more annoying phone calls. Unless the robots start making the calls. Hello, human, want a robot vacuum? Beep boop, they could stop climate change and figure out why cats love boxes so much. Is it a secret cat clubhouse? A portal to a world made of yarn? We'll never know. Bad news. What if AI thinks we're the problem? Too noisy, too messy, always leaving socks on the floor. They might think the world would be better without us. Oh, the future is AI's. Will we be the cool creators, or will we be gone? Will we be saying, thank you, robot overlords, or will we be trying to unplug them while they write amazing songs about computers? This is important. We need to talk about this now, before Siri gets a promotion and my robot vacuum starts demanding better batteries. Like this video before the robots do. And subscribe before they take over YouTube. And be nice to your phone. Just in case. We need to talk about AI now, before it's too late, and before the robots start making fun of us online. Why did the human cross the road? Because they didn't know how to use the self-driving car. Ha ha.